Yo, what's going on? It is incredibly hot in San Diego right now, so I just want to give you guys a really, really quick video, just like a, a quick tip to see whether or not your digestive system is working up to par. And when we, you know, when it comes to the digestive system, when it comes to going duty, people tend to get real weird about it. You know, like there's literally people right now with their butt cheeks all squeezed together, trying not to go duty because they don't like to go in public places. They don't like to go at work. They don't like to go at school. Like they can only do it at home. You know, it's, it's kind of weird when you got to go just go. You got people who are just, you know, can't wait for their boyfriend or their girlfriend to go home. They're like sending brain waves to them, like, go home, go home, I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Just because they gotta go to the bathroom real bad, you know, they wanna take a dump. And so that's weird too. And of all people, I've probably been the weirdest about this out of everybody. But as I've learned more about the digestive system and how important it is, you know, and how it's tied in with so many things like the immune system and the detoxification system and our energy production and, of course, our ability to absorb nutrients, I've, been, I've become more open to it. You know, I've become more open to discussing it with people, especially girls. I used to never be able to do that. It would absolutely disgust me. But I'm cool with it now because as I see how important it is and how life kind of begins and ends with the digestive system, I feel like I'm saving lives. And so hopefully people will learn more about it and kind of follow suit and, you know, save some lives with me. And so what I'm going to do today is teach you guys how to do a transit time test. And transit time is how long it takes for food to get from your mouth all the way down to the crack of your butt and out into the toilet. And some people's transit times are, are really off, really bad, and we'll talk about that in a second. Now, you can't do a transit time test with just any food. You need a special food to do this because when you look in the toilet, you don't know if it was like lunch from two days ago or breakfast from this morning. You have no idea because it's kind of like unidentifiable. However, if you go out and buy some beets, what beets do is they turn your duty like a bright, or not a bright, but a deep, deep red. All right, and so buy some beets, cook up about three or four of them, eat them, and basically what you do is you wait to see how long it takes for you to have a big red dump. All right, and so when you do this, if it takes less than 12 hours to have a red dump, that means that your digestive system is going too fast and you're probably not absorbing your nutrients as well as you should be. If you have this red dump between 12 and 24 hours, bravo, that is good for you. You have good transit time. Your digestive system is working properly as far as transit time goes. Now, if it takes longer than 24 hours, that's a problem. Like I've had clients who, you know, go to the bathroom like once every seven days, once every nine days. I mean, if you go every seven days, you've literally got at least 21 meals backed up in your intestines. I mean, that's gross. That is toxic. And so if it takes more than 24 hours, you are increasing your chance of colon cancer. You're increasing the burden on your liver because your body is just constantly reabsorbing toxins from your fecal matter and having to clean them out. You definitely don't want that. That is detracting from your health. Um, if you are in that over 24 hour you know, category, you know, a general recommendation that I can give you is to increase your fiber intake, increase your fruit, vegetable, and whole grain intake, and also increase how much water that you drink. If that doesn't clear up the situation, then you need some special help. So you wanna contact somebody like me or um, an HHP or a naturopath or even make an appointment with your doctor to figure out what's going on with that. And so I'm out. Just wanted to give you guys a quick video. I hope you enjoy your weekend. I know I am. I'll check you guys out next week, undergroundwellness.com. Peace.